Whoa, what's that? Today's video is on exactly what you see on the motherfucking screen. The NCAA amends agent rule after criticism from LeBron James with their dirt ass. You understand what I'm saying? But we gonna get to the NCAA itself in a fucking minute. You dig like they give a fuck about players or who the agents is. You gotta have a fucking bachelor's. Get y'all lame ass out of here. The NCAA has amended its requirements for agents following criticism from high profile player personnel you understand across basketball according to Gary Parrish of CBS Sports a bachelor degree is no longer needed to represent players testing the waters of the NBA draft as long as the agent is certified certified by the NBPA and in good standing with the players association so all of a sudden after LeBron James and Rich Paul and people even on TV, I believe I saw some shit. And really, I got this story from Ticket TV because I don't give a fuck about most of the mainstream media outlets. So I just see the main headline and I roll with it if I feel like it. But from them, from their standpoint, y'all know they don't give a fuck about these players. When it was they little agents and Weinstein, Wizenstein, Wizen Hunt or whoever the fuck it was scamming all of these players, nobody ain't give a fuck about a bastard degree but now y'all care now that LeBron James making fucking moves and understand y'all I am not even a fucking fan of LeBron James on the court but I'm a fan of everything he do off the fucking court cause the man a young fucking entrepreneur you did he got his money in a lot of different places and he helping a lot of people once he got put on he put his whole fucking team on you dig he ain't be like baby you dig and just throw people to the side or steal money use people and you know come up off motherfuckers he put his whole team on Rich Paul is the number one motherfucking agent in the NBA you dig what I'm saying and do you see LeBron standing over him all the time you know like he pub daddy all in the videos and all of that bullshit hell nah but these dirty motherfuckers in the NCAA they don't like you niggas having that power that's why y'all need to take this shit as a sign and start your own fucking league they always talking about it's such a pleasure for you to play in the NFL or play in the NBA. What the fuck you mean? It's a pleasure for you dirty motherfuckers to have us. Talking about it's a it's a fucking what they call it? It's a um a fucking uh what that what they prime word is, y'all. It's a fucking uh uh like you gotta appreciate them bitches. You know what the hell I'm saying. You gotta love, you gotta appreciate the fact that they have you in the NFL, goddammit. After you done been through all of this bullshit and NCAA where them dirty motherfuckers don't even want to give you a Dollar. Fucking kids be stealing crab legs and shit and while they making a joke out of it on fucking TV the kids really starving and they fucking family starving. Fuck it, we just gonna talk about the NCAA now but when one of these fucking kids break their goddamn neck, don't nobody give a damn, don't nobody give a fuck but it take fucking LeBron James to come out and tell these motherfuckers nah, y'all blatantly attacking us, huh? He had to blatantly put them on blast, you dig, and by them amending the bullshit to me, it's an admittance of fucking guilt you did that's all that is y'all know that y'all was talking in lebron them because they fucking getting too powerful what they call it the inmates are running the asylum and shit not only is lebron inspiring everybody to just be like man fuck loyalty to these teams let's go wherever we want let's go where the money take us or where the championship take us but he also signing motherfucking players you did all the top players hell nah we got to put the end put an end to that bullshit why don't they take this shit as a motherfucking sign and start your own fucking uh league you dig matter of fact not, not a privilege to play in the nfl and a privilege to play in the nba now it's a fucking privilege for you dirty motherfuckers to have us you know how much money they make over them boys you did concessions tv deals all that and talk let's go to the ncaa still since they the idiots you know who done the fucking attack you understand what i'm saying the NCAA itself don't even have to play the players. So on top of them, them getting the concession money, they getting that ticket money, the TV deal money, 
the SEC, this dot goddamn deal, the ACC TV deal and shit. They got networks for every fucking conference. The NFL don't even have that. That's like the NFL having a NFC South channel, a NFC West channel. These motherfuckers got a SEC, a ACC, a BCC, or whatever the fuck CC they got this year, goddamn it. But y'all, y'all don't see the fucking how they hands move, how these people just raping these kids. They don't gotta pay them nothing. So they got the money from the TV and every fucking thing. You did but gon' blast some player when they stealing something. Stole a crab leg, some shit to eat. Or when they take a deal from one of y'all crooked ass agents, the ones who don't need a bachelor's degree, from one of your agents and they get them a new card and y'all catch them and shit and it's all over the TV and they look like the thug that the local news always have them out to fucking be in. You dig what I'm saying? We don't even need to read the motherfucking article like that because all they basically is saying is uh, LeBron and Rich Paul had to speak out and then they changed it, you dig? Come on, bro. Let's read what um Rich Paul said, though. Requiring a four-year degree accomplishes only one thing, systematically excluding those who come from a world where college is unrealistic, Paul wrote. Does anyone really believe a four-year degree is what separates an ethical person from a con office? A con artist? My bad. Come on, and you got to be a complete fucking idiot, you did? They gonna make a rule specifically targeting y'all. They specifically targeting your power, LeBron James, you did? And I can't stand this dude on the court at all he the one who made i'm not in agreement with all this super team shit but that's a you know a little sports thing you dig that's nothing compared to the person that he is off the motherfucking court you dig the dude got entrepreneurship every fucking way you dig and he hiring black people i see fucking black people not just jay-z rock nation where you see him and fucking a a million white people surrounding his dumb ass yet he got on eyeglasses like he conscious but that's another motherfucking story Bro. But y'all should pay attention to this, you dig? LeBron James, uh, Chris Paul, supposedly so smart, this, that, and the third. Y'all don't see a tax? Y'all don't understand a tax when you see one? LeBron, why you think they questioning you when you wrote, wore that shirt? You should have stood on that shit, though, and say, I wore this I Can't Breathe shirt because you motherfuckers is out here killing people. You dig? Unjustly and shit. You dig? Killing people with a fuck for pulling out a goddamn snicker ball. That's what you should have told a dirty ass. And once again, you witnessing a fucking rebel network. The only reason we talking about it is because we gonna talk about that shit from a um, black perspective. And if you new here, what the fuck we do is be reading shit. Watch this shit and block talk breaking it down. Man, once again, y'all holler at me.